God, how is everyone tonight? That was weak. How is everyone? There we go. Stand with us. Let's worship tonight. in God's house, looking forward to how got one question as we begin do you believe the scripture? Yes. you sure? Yes. you believe the scripture? Yes. okay uh, let me call your attention a couple of opportunities that we have uh, Lee asked me to remind you that right after services tonight they'll be setting up the derby track Lee set the call, that's what we call it but set up the derby track, the want to Derby is Wednesday night, so if you can help Lee do that, we'd be mighty, mighty appreciative of that. I remind you as well, our new football coach has requested that we would pray for him as he begins in his terms, his new ministry. So he's looking at the position that God has given him as a ministry. I'm told a very fine Christian young man. And uh, so we have set up this coming uh, Friday at 630 a prayer breakfast for him, men and women alike. If you'd like to come, we need you to sign up so that we'll know how to prepare for that. Uh, we're going to have a breakfast. It won't last very long, but we'll have a time in which we'll gather his wife and himself around, and we'll get over him. We're going to pray over him. Amen? We'll ask God to use him in a mighty way to set an example and uh, lead our young men that play football in a godly and a Christ-like way. So that will be 630. Uh, this coming Friday, I encourage you to bear for that. All, obviously, uh, next weekend is uh, Super Weekend, a lot of activities, and I realize that many of you, being you're not in the youth department any longer, won't participate, but this is what we ask you to do, pray. Amen? Pray next Saturday and Sunday as we met, gather together. We have opportunities of service that we'll be able to do that for the honor, for the glory, and for the praise of, of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Again, it's good to see you here tonight. I hope you'll join, join, in, join in with us as we sing, as we worship, as we praise. Indeed, God's worthy of worship. Men, would you come pleased at, as we receive the evening offering tonight? <clears throat> Brother Merle Cunningham, would you lead us to the Lord in prayer?
and stand with us. Let's worship God in one more song tonight. Bye. 
be seated. Would you bow with me please in prayer as we begin. <clears throat> Father, tonight I desire one thing, and that's to be sensitive to the Spirit of God tonight and do that which would be pleasing to you. I pray that you would give guidance, I pray you'd give direction, and I pray that you'd bring glory and honor and praise to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, for we pray in his sweet name, amen. 
You remember when we began the service, I asked you, do you believe the Bible? And you said, you believe the Bible. What is the, you know, next weekend is a super weekend, uh, not just in name, but I believe could be a super weekend to bring life change, particularly our target is youth of next week. Uh, what, what is the number one thing that you think that we should do tonight and throughout the week to, bring, to help God bring about that change? Pray. Do, do you believe 2 Chronicles seven fourteen? If my people, that's you and I, who are called by his name, shall humble ourselves and pray, that, that word humble ourselves means that we not only fall on our knees, that's a mark of humility, but when we pray, it is saying to God, God, we need you. Uh, our youth today need God, amen? And, and they need us to show them that we believe that we need God and they need God. So I'm not, I'm not for sure that it's not time. Are you listening? It's not time now. I believe that it is time now for the church to fall on their knees. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal, heal their land. We'll do things a little bit differently tonight. You may not like it, but that's, not, that's fine. I'm, I'm not here to please you tonight. I'm here to please the Lord. Amen? Uh, I'm going to ask Brother Clark come to the stadium, come to the, 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 what's this, pulpit for just a moment, <clears throat> podium for just a moment. Uh, Brother Clark is, has been giving over the last year, last several years, particularly after the last year, over leadership. Come on up here just a second. Over the uh, uh, Super Weekend that we're having, and I just want him to just kind of, Brother Clark, if you can remember it off the top of your head, just share with the folks the outline beginning noon on Saturday of what, we're, what, what will be going on next week so that you as a congregation will know how to pray. So, Brother Clark, you share that for just a second. Yes, we're going to start at noon Saturday with registration. Uh, we're going to have uh, sub sandwiches as far as the, the lunch. And it, we're going to start our afternoon rally, the very first service, at 1 o'clock. Uh, Saturday afternoon from 1 to 2.30. Then at 2.30 till about 4, we're going to be doing service projects. A group will be going to the nursing home. A group will be going to the Christian Outreach Center. And some are going to be here serving, like getting the crosses up, cleaning the storage building, uh, doing some other projects here at the church. Uh, so that's going to be from 2.30 to 4. We'll come back. We'll have us some uh, about an hour of games, 45 minutes of games, fun time. We're going to have uh, hamburgers for, for supper at 445, and then we're going to the BB Auditorium at 6 o'clock is going to be a community youth rally, okay? Uh, our rescue band is going to be doing about three songs. I know the um, uh, Josh Hall and the Nazarene Church, they got a band that's going to be doing uh, three songs, I believe. Uh, Avery will be speaking. Uh, it's sponsored by Youth Alive, and then there's another speaker, and so it's community youth rally. We did this last year for the first time. And you can ask our students and the adults who went. It was a wonderful uh, experience. The highlight, one of the highlights of their weekend. Uh, so we'll be doing that, and that is Saturday. Once that service is over, uh, we'll be done for Saturday. We'll start at 9.30 on Sunday uh, with breakfast at Sunday school, have a time together there. Then we'll come over and have church-wide service um, Sunday morning, have pizza lunch for our students and the helpers, and then we'll come back and have an afternoon service um, Sunday afternoon and then we will conclude at 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon with Super Weekend. So that's kind of a quick overview uh, of what we're going to be doing and uh, yes, there's the, the schedule up there. Thank you for putting that up there. Thank you, Brother Clark. I'm extremely thankful for Brother Clark and his leadership, uh, our, his opportunity to give guidance to our youth. So at this time, I want us to bow and pray, particularly for Brother Clark that God would help him to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit guidance in this coming week. Uh, we, know what God, we, we, we know what we have planned, but God may come down and interrupt that. Wouldn't that be awesome? And we're going to pray that God would bring youth out. We'll do that in just a few moments, but let's bow 
the, this time and pray for Brother Clark. And Brother Clark, as, as I, when I finish praying for you, I want you to go back to your seat. I want you to get down the altar or sit on the stairs, not to say that you need to be in the altar, but I, I've got a, other things that we're going to do that's going to surround that. But, but you, would you bow with me in prayer? Father, I thank you today for the opportunity and privilege that we have to gather in your house. Lord, thank you for Brother Clark giving leadership and praying and seeking your face and wanted to, wanting to uh, pick the correct theme and the speaker and the singers and all the activities that will be going on. I just pray that, Lord, in the coming days this week, maybe as the wicked one fights him, uh, maybe bringing discouragement, Lord, I, I pray that you would, you would help him to realize that greater is he that is in him than he that is in the world. And, Lord, I just pray that you would glorify yourself in and through Brother Clark, and I thank you so much for him. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down over there on the st stairs, kneel in the stage, or whatever, what, whatever you want to do. Uh, the building over on the uh, on uh, next door, in case you do not know, I think probably all of you know, is called the Anchor. And the adults that supervise, not only on Wednesday night, but other activities that will be next, next week are called the Lifeguards. If you are a lifeguard, I want you to come up here and join Brother Clark, uh, and we're, we want to we want to pray for you. If you are a lifeguard, and not ashamed of it, I want you to come up here and, and join with him up here, as we're going to have prayer for you as well that God would give guidance to the, our lifeguards in the in the coming days. And I want to say from the depth of my heart, we're thankful for you. Uh, we're thankful for your commitment to help our youth on Wednesday evening. We're thankful for you to give your weekend next Saturday and Sunday to, to, to give guidance to the youth. Brother Roger, uh, at this time, I know you are one of the lifeguards, but I'm going to ask you to uh, lead us to the Lord in prayer, praying that God would protect the lifeguards and give wisdom and guidance to the lifeguard next week. Thank you, Roger. Uh, Y'all stay up here as well. Our, our, spe our speaker for next week is Brad Branham. Is that, did I say that right? Brad Branham. And uh, I, I just I, I hope that this week, that as God brings it to your attention, that you'd be praying that God would give him wisdom and guidance and direction. God would help him to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and that he would speak the words and every time that he speaks, uh, the words that our young people and all of us next Sunday morning, he'll be the speaker next Sunday morning, all of us would need to hear. So let's bow, let's bow in prayer, and we're praying specifically right now for Brad Branham. Uh, Brother Graham McElhannon, would you stand and pray for Brother Brad?
Amen. Thank you, Brother Graham. Our band next week is uh, Cliff Preston, Clay Smith, Nathan Wood, and Jared Smith. I know, I know that you can't remember all of these names. What's the name of the band? Preston. Uh, so we're going to pray for the band. Brother Merle, would you stand please and pray for the band, for Preston, the band that will be leading, leading us in worship. This is where we're going to get a little bit different. Don't need to be scary. Don't need to frighten you or embarrass anybody, but I need your help on, on, on this as much as possible tonight. I want all of our youth to come forward for just a moment. All of our youth and spread out, spread out. Y'all got to help me now. Spread out across from that top, from wall to wall. Put about five feet between you. About five feet between you. All the way to the wall. Caleb, y'all start going back this way. Jack, you're not at the wall. Will, go to the wall. Y'all help me. Okay, lifeguards, lifeguards. I want you to go to one of these kids. Each lifeguard goes to one of our young people. We're going to have to spread out even more whenever we continue to do what we're doing today. Okay, everybody spreading out. Everybody spreading out. That's all right if some of them don't have anybody. If you, if you, if you, if you're Deacon or Yoke fella, if you see someone, some of our kids up here doesn't have anybody, one of you get by one of these kids. We will make sure that every one of them has Deacon or Yoke fella. Y'all, y'all go, y'all stand beside them. Okay. Because we're going to do something else. We're not through. We're not through. If my people, who is that? That's us. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. So this is what I want you to do. I want each of you to pick one of these young people and their sponsor, and I want you to go to them. It's not enough room here in, in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in the front of the church. Maybe we want to take them to the back of the church or side of the church. You pick one of them, and y'all go and have, uh, introduce yourself, get to know them a little bit, and then have some prayer with them concerning their particular needs for Super Weekend. They don't have to tell you their needs, but just pray that God would meet their needs. Y'all get up and go, okay? Got a, I got a reason for doing all of this. Y'all don't have to stay at the front of the auditorium. Y'all can come down the aisles. Y'all can get in the back. I want to hear some holy commotion. Y'all talking to them. They're talking to you. Spend a few moments just speaking to one another. I know all of us cannot make our way around, and that's fine.
Our guide in our prayer at this time, not to be the Holy Spirit to tell you how to pray, is praying specifically for the young person's need at this particular time. Pray that God would give them boldness to invite their friends, not only to Super Weekend, but invite their friends if God grants the opportunity to come to know Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives, not only during Super Weekend, but this week. Now look at me just a second. We now want to pray for their lost friends, that God would bring their lost friends to the Super Weekend. And we're going to get a hold of God. You know, the scripture that we read, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Part of that humbling means we fall on our knees. And we cry out to God. So I want to invite you, if you can, if you're physically able, to come to the altar. We're going to get on our knees and we're going to cry out to Jesus over the lostness of our community. Ask God to save their soul. So y'all join with me. If you can't get on your knees, fine. If you can't, sit in a chair behind you. <clears throat> Be in just a few moments in your group individually praying for the lost. If one of them have a friend that they would be bold enough to call their names out, pray for them. Father, we come tonight with a divine expectancy. Scripture tells us, ask and it shall be given unto you, and tonight we're asking for BB. We're asking that the Holy Spirit of God would fall down in the morning upon our school. The Holy Spirit of God would bring forth conviction, drawing boys and girls, young men and women to saving faith in Jesus. Help not only our youth, but all believers, all followers of Christ. Help them to be bold in their witness. Help them to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Help them to go to school with a divine expectancy, believing that God's going to do something awesome this week. Lord, we believe, I believe, that this is not going to be just the ordinary super weekend. But I'm praying that it would be a supernatural weekend. I pray that the conclusion of next Sunday, that the only explanation that we could conclude is that God got involved. 
For each of us, I pray that our hearts would be changed. For the lost, I pray that they would come to know Christ as Lord and Savior of the lives. For the Clark and for the lifeguards and for the speakers and for the ones that will be leading in worship, I pray for a special anointing of the Holy Spirit. And that, Father, you would rain down upon us. And that, Father, we'd see great and mighty things done for the honor and for the glory and for the praise of Jesus. Father, I pray you'd show up in a very special way. I pray you'd begin uh, in the morning in each of our lives. I pray you'd go throughout the week. I pray for our prayer meeting for our new coach this coming Friday that, Lord, we'd be able to touch the throne of grace. And that, Father, you would anoint him with a special anointing of the power from on high and that he'd lead our young men in ways of integrity and Christ-likeness. Lord, I just pray that you'd just do something so awesome in the coming days in our lives that's obvious from you. And, Lord, change our hearts from just coming expecting nothing to happen, but then we'd come expecting supernatural things to happen for the honor and for the glory and for the praise of Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. Thank you for changing my life through the shed blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power of the gospel. And I, think, I pray that it is, as it is proclaimed that you would change lives. Lord, we'll give you the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Let me just remind you something. This is 640.